Wow, that is a lot of garage cars. I still don't have them all yet. I'll keep them coming though. But this video ain't about garage cars. This is about the Toys R Us exclusive bone shaker. That all the uh, mysteries been around here as of lately. If anybody follows HotWheelCollectors.com, supposedly you go into Toys R Us and you buy forty dollars worth of Hot Wheels electronics. Um, clocks, headphones, whatever kind of Hot Wheel electronic stuff they sell, which is a lot. And you spend 40 bucks, and on top of it you get a Toys R Us exclusive bone shaker with a $10 gift card to Toys R Us. So it was my day off, so I decided to roll in there this morning, and um, I ask, and Toys R Us employees, being the competent individuals they are, Knew nothing about anything, no sales. So I told him, no, well, it's it's proven between the 4th of this month and the 11th, you guys are running the special. So two or three managers later, finally one of them goes to, not the stock room, but their very back room, to go check out, um, to go see what's going on. She comes out with a bone shaker. I see her walking out, I was like, well, alright, at least they found him, you know. She gets closer, and I realize the card is completely destroyed completely annihilated and then uh... she's not sure about the promo but she found the cards were her exact words you know well she said cars so um... i told her promo forty bucks you know i was honest with her about it forty dollars with electronics you give me the car she says okay i said but that card is unacceptable is there any way you can go back and get the box of them so i can go through and pick one out because it's just supposed to be collectible so uh... This card with all the creases in it's unacceptable. She says, okay, well, I can bring them out. And what does she bring out? She brings out a FedEx uh, bubble bag, bubble envelope, full of ten bone shakers. Because it's ten bone shakers per store is how it's supposed to be. So you got to be kidding me. So it just turned out that the card that she gave me was the best card out of the bunch. So I said, okay. So, um, as I checked out, which they charged me twice for the gift card, I ended up paying, you know, $20. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I asked, what happens if I want to return these? Because really, you know, I'm just trying to get the car. I don't want the clock or the watch or whatever else that I got. She said, you can, as long as you don't use the gift card, you can return it and get all your money back with the car. If you don't return the car and you just return the products, it's $10 less. Ah, there's the key. Ten dollars less. So I thought about it for a minute. So ten dollars for a bone shaker, limited. Eh, pretty pricey. But I went ahead and, and I checked out and I went to my car. Then um then I thought about it sitting in the car. And I realized um Okay, so I went back ahead and I returned my stuff. I walked in and before I returned it I said so now. She asked me where my car was, of course, because the same lady did the returns. And I said, I'm just going to keep the car, just charge me the $10. She said, okay. So I said, now you charge me the $10, so basically now I have that $10 gift card still, right? She said, yeah. So if you plan on opening up your cards, uh, $10 gift card, great. What if you aren't planning on opening up the car? Like, I'm not planning on opening it up. Well, if you look at the back, there's an opening. i got to be careful so I don't show off my number here. But there's an opening in the back of the car to where they could see your uh, gift card number. So all I got to do is scan it at the register and it's it's active. About six hours later they told me. So I don't know about everybody else but I'm planning on getting some uh, Hot Wheels from Toys R Us sometime between now and uh, January 28th is when the card expires. So I'm probably going to use my gift card toward the He-Man uh, Masters of the Universe Nostalgia. And it's like twenty dollars for the little set of four that they have. So I bought a ten dollar bone shaker but really just got a ten dollar gift card which I'm going to use anyway so really I just got a ten dollar gift card from Toys R Us and a free bone shaker to go along with it so not too bad of a deal um, if you want if you got kids and you want to give your kids the electronic clocks they got some pretty cool stuff in there but none of it was for me so I figured out a way to kind of beat the system and came out on top this card, just to show you some of the damage, it was the best card they had. Has some deal right there. Little um little creasing or denting right there. 
The biggest problem is the crease going across the top of this card. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but there's a big vein going right across the top of the card where they glued it. And this is the one, this is the best one I can find. So there's the bone shaker for you guys. Head over here to Toys R Us and uh, get there where you can pick out a nice crisp card and do your returns or do however you want to do it. Just now you know how. Got a couple cars to show you before I go. I can't go without showing you some cars. Here's this very, very nice 57 Buick that I got. Light blue, Spectra Flame paint, big white wall tires. Back in looking good. Got this off of um, those who name we shall not speak. Starts with an E though. Um, looking good. Pretty low number. Only 34, uh, 3,400 of these made. 3,455. I got 2,953 as you can see there. But I do like this car a lot. It's right up there. Right up there in my top 10 cars for sure. I also got a Pontiac uh, GTO 69. Really good looking. If I can get out of the light. There you go, GTO. Nice wheels. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. It's got the blacked out uh, hidden hidden lights. It's probably one of my favorite options. It was a really popular auction uh, auction option back then. Goodyear tires. And last but certainly not least is probably my favorite. The custom '69 Chevy truck. You ready for it? Man, I mean, I love this piece. You don't have to collect Hot Wheels to appreciate this piece. I mean, I got this after Thanksgiving, but if I didn't get it after Thanksgiving, this would have been the centerpiece for my table. I mean, you you know, you could bring anybody in your house and you collect Hot Wheels? No, but you show them this piece and they're going to say that's cool. If they don't, then something's wrong with them. This is probably my favorite piece that I have. Got a couple that are close runs, but... Step side, the old C10. I just love it. I love this piece. But after it for a while, it gets kind of pricey. But I don't think I got it for too bad of a deal. I could have paid a lot more if I wasn't careful. Let's put it that way. They made 7,631 of these. I don't know if they're just made to order or why the numbers are so strange on them. Another small piece. Uh, found my first short car treasure hunt this morning. Custom 62 Chevy. No biggie. And I did um, finally get, as you can see, I like to collect Lamborghinis. It goes up here and it starts coming back down there. So I got to get the Hot Ones Chase piece of it. It got to me the corner was real bad. The packaging, he just had it sitting in a sitting in a, a USPS little priority box banging around with one crumpled up piece of tissue paper so I called him and chewed him out and you know I didn't call him I sent him a message saying what the hell's your problem you know da 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 so he sent me my money back and let me keep the car so it didn't turn out too bad I don't think I can do this with one hand so I seen in another video guy was doing something else I can't really say what but I kind of figured this out. I wanted to try it out. Get a popsicle stick, a couple clamps. You don't want them too strong because you're going to do more damage to your card that was done in the first place. And try to see if you can straighten your card out. I left it like that for a day or two and it helped out a lot. It actually worked. I'm going to start working on how to repair soft corners. There's probably a video out there with somebody doing it, but I'm going to figure out my own thing. And maybe we can learn something off of it. I'm going to give you an example. Still not perfect, but it's a it's a hell of a lot better than it was. It's still got something that's not gonna come out of it, which is a little a vein going. But that's it. 
On a side note, you guys missed an opening party. I made the video, but 